YouTube, it's Lip Bone Queen here. Just want to get in here today and I wanted to do a first impression slash review of a trio pack that I have recently purchased off eBay of Lip Smackers. I'm excited for these. This is something that's just fun for me to do on the side. I love to go on eBay and find older uh, packs of like Lip Smackers that are like older collections because these are ones I don't have in my collection. So I go to purchase them not to use them, but just to have in my collection. So what I do is I'll purchase an older pack off eBay and then I'll open them up and just like kind of like smell them and kind of give you my thought of what I think they're like. So I just love doing this. It's just something I enjoy doing so it's just fun. But I did want to make it clear I do not actually use the product. So just to let you guys know that because then everybody's like it's expired. I'm like I don't use it. I just collect them. So anyways this is a Lip Smacker Trio and it says awesome flavor, moisturizing shine and they're just adorable the packaging on them is adorable so i'm actually gonna have to open them up to let you know what the actual um flavors are because you can barely see the way they're in the package you can't see the um flavors they are but it does say the original fun flavored lip gloss in an assort assortment featuring limited edition flavors that are only found in trio packs look for the ones you don't have yet and get ready for a lip smacking super delicious treat but like I said, I will not be using these as lip balms. I'm just keeping them in my collection just to have. So, um, so this is an older pack. As you can tell, the packaging's older and everything. So this is an older pack. But I am so excited to have these. I just thought these were super cute. So I'm going to open them up on camera for you guys. Alright. I just thought the packaging was adorable. These are a Christmas set. But you have this cute one right here. It has a little snowman on it and it says sugar and spice. See the little snowman? It says lip smacker and on the side it says sugar and spice. So I'm excited to know what all these um, smell like and stuff. So there's the first one. Then the second in the pack is caramel popcorn drizzle. And it says lip smacker on the side. It has a cute little teddy bear on it. And he's eating... Is he eating popcorn? Looks like popcorn, Al. Looks like a little present with popcorn in it. And uh, there it says the caramel popcorn drizzle. So I'm so excited for these. I just can't wait to give you all my thoughts. So the last one in the set is a little girl singing. And um, she's singing carols, I guess. And it's a berry traditional cranberry. Berry traditional cranberry. And she's in there just singing. And let's see what it says. It says lip smacker on the side. I just thought that was just super cute and I just had to have this pack. I don't care if it's old. I'm not going to use it on my lips like, I'm, like I've already said several times. I'm just collecting these. But I definitely wanted my collection because I didn't have them. So this one is supposed to be the traditional, no, berry traditional cranberry. And it is a red shade. So let's go ahead and smell it. I'll swatch it on my hand first. Cause that's why you get like the best scent and it it just leaves like a glossy shine and mmm that smells good let me swatch it again oh wow this has got a good scent um it's got a it's got like a berry scent to it but it almost smells like a berry scent and a fruit punch scent together Oh my gosh, that smells really good. Wow. I like that one. That is an awesome scent, guys. It's like a nice berry scent, and then it has like a really nice, like, tropical, like, fruit punch scent, too. That smells really good. So, yeah, I'm excited for that one. It's just super cute. And then the next one we have is Sugar and Spice. And I was really curious on what this one would smell like. Because I don't have anything sugar and spice, and I just thought that would really be awesome to have. But I love the little snowman on that. I think he's so cute. I'm a sucker for packaging. I can't help it. Alright, so this one is almost like a, uh, it's a weird color. It's like an orangish yellow tan. I don't know. It's a weird color. I don't even know what you would call that. I'm going to say it's a light orange. That's what I'm going to say. It's a weird shade. Okay, let me swatch it so I can get a real good scent. Oh my goodness, what does this smell like? This smells like one I've reviewed. 
It, um, sorry, I'm trying to think. I've smelled this scent, but I'm trying to think of what it's similar to. It has like a vanilla scent to it, like a creamy vanilla scent, but then it has like a spice scent to it too. Yeah, it's like it has like a spice scent to it, and then it has like a creamy like vanilla scent to it also. So it smells really good, but I didn't know how it was going to smell because I've never had a sugar and spice lip smacker, so I'm excited for this one. It smells really good, guys. All right, and then the last one. This is the one I was most excited for out of the whole pack because I just thought the packaging was cute on it, and I love anything that's like a like a caramel kind of like flavor. Um, so this one is the Caramel Popcorn Drizzle, and it's just super cute. I love the little bear on it. <clears throat> and it is like a beige shade. Mmm. That smells good. It does. It has like a rich caramel like scent. But then again, it does have like almost like the buttered popcorn kind of scent to it also. Or not the not the butter popcorn, but the um it almost has like a it's almost like the caramel corn like scent. That's what it's similar to. It smells like that, but it's a little bit lighter. So that's exciting. I am excited to have these. These are such a cute little pack. I think I bought this off of eBay for like six bucks, I think. I think is how much I spent. Six. I try to only spend around five or six dollars for like if I'm gonna get a pack just to have in my collection. I try not to spend any more than that because these are expired. Um, but I really do love just having them in my collection. That's how much I love lip smackers. Like I don't even care they're expired. Like just the thought of them being in my collection makes me smile. So I am super excited for these and um I love to be able to do like a first impression with you guys. Even though I can't use them on my lips, I can at least swatch them for you guys on my hand and let you know what I think of the scents and stuff. So I'm excited to have this pack. This was a Christmas pack. And if you know what year these came out, please comment down below because I would like to know. Um, of course, they were Bonnebelle then. And uh, it doesn't have like dates on it. I kind of wish it did. That way I would have an idea. I'll have to look online and see exactly if I can find out what year they came out. But I just really do love finding these awesome um, lip smackers and like these older packaging. I think it's great. And um, I just wanted to get on here real quick today and I wanted to uh, do my uh, impression video for you guys. Like first impression on these. And this is the older packaging like I showed you in the beginning. I just really do love this and I really am happy to have this in my collection. And... <clears throat> I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and a blessed day. And don't forget to enter my giveaway that I have going on right now. Just I will try to link that in the description box down below um, if I don't forget when I'm uploading the video. But um, I will try to link that down below so you can check out the giveaway. And please enter. And it is a U.S. only and it is a one winner uh, giveaway. So just check it out and... Um, if you're not subscribed, subscribe so you can be a part of the giveaway. And I hope you all have a blessed day and a wonderful week. Thanks. Bye.